antozi abrandozi ataba azua ate vai azudi bi andaba azi antete dibri antabaya tonight is a night of power Tonight is a night of the supernatural. God is about to move in your life in a tremendous and a powerful way. The song we just sang was that the presence of God is here. And you don't need, even a blind man can see that God is moving in this ministry. And I prophetically know and believe there is going to be a shift in the atmosphere. I prophetically believe there is going to be a turnaround in the atmosphere. I prophetically believe that God is going to turn something around in your life, in your family, in, in your destiny that is going to blow your mind. I need you to share the broadcast for me. I need you to tag your friends, tag your family, tag somebody. Please don't watch tonight alone. I need you to tag somebody, copy the link and send it to a hundred people, two hundred people, three hundred people on your WhatsApp. Post it in your family group. Tell them, family members, you need to watch this. Post it in and share it in every WhatsApp group or Facebook group you are in. For tonight is a dangerous night of power. My God, my God. Haziba Azuda Bahaya. The theme for tonight is Lord, change my garment. And I told you before we begin, I told you to find a garment, a shirt, or a dress, something you will never wear again. Something you feel you will never wear again. Find it as a symbolic token for your prayer tonight. It is a token to I said to you tonight, find a garment, a shirt, a dress, or something that you will not wear again. And use it, we are going to use it as a prophetic token for prayer. Now listen to me, there are certain things that beat the understanding of the natural man. It may not make sense to the natural man, but spiritually it does. When Jesus anointed the eyes of a blind man and told the blind man to go and watch in the pool of Syrian, it didn't make sense to the people that were watching, but prophetically it made sense. Listen to me, just find a shirt, a dress, something. I, I just need you to listen. You don't need to agree with what I'm saying, but just listen to the word of God. And by the time we are through, I'm telling you, you are going to be tremendously blessed. This is a prophetic revelation. Now let me say, let me start by telling you this. In 2018, in the month of January, I was in prayer and waiting on the face of the Lord. And as I was praying, all of a sudden, this is what I saw. I saw an angel of the Lord remove the the the, the, the shirt it was the shirt that I was wearing and the angel of the Lord put on me something new and this is a revelation I had in prayer I was in prayer the beginning of the year and everyone knows that at the beginning of the year we are always in prayer so I was in prayer at the beginning of the year in 2018 and uh, all of a sudden in uh, had a revelation an angel of the Lord removed my shirt and the angel of the Lord put on me something new and I was asking the Lord what it meant and and then and the angels prophetically told me that David from now your garment has been changed and and I said what is the I mean I mean significance of it he says from now you are going to be operating in a new dimension of power number one you are going to be operating in a new dimension of the anointing and the grace of God and signs and testimonies and miracles will begin to back your ministry in a way that who beats the understanding and the minds of people. So I began from then to experience some mind-blowing testimonies that I could not fathom. And I was asking myself, where from this? Why are these things happening? And the Lord spoke to me, is because your garment was changed in the month of January. Let me tell you something very, very, very profound. 
ground and I need you to watch this and I need you to follow me. Now, when somebody, when we say your garment here, your garment actually gives you an identity. Your garment gives you an identity. Your garment, the garment you are wearing gives you an identity. Your garment that you are wearing gives you an identity. In the physical, watch this, in the physical, the way you dress determines the way people even address you. Sometimes, imagine if you go to a shop, even here in this England or in Africa or anywhere, and you are dressed shabbily or in a funny way, the security guards begin to monitor you on their CCTV. Why? Because you could possibly be a thief. Not because you are a thief, but because of your demeanor and your the way you are dressed, it attracts a lot of attention and a lot of suspicion. Now, listen to me. Your garment signifies your identity. You know, um, and, and if you see a policeman, the, the police most police people put on a uniform. They put on a police uniform and they, 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 they just by seeing them, you are able to know they are law enforcing agencies. If you see a medical doctor, when a doctor is in, in, uh, is in the consulting room, they put on a, a coat to signify who they are and, and sometimes for a doctor to even perform surgery, they have to remove the usual coat they put on and put on something new. Everybody in the theater, in the surgical world, in the, in the, in the surgical theater, they have to put on a new garment. Why do doctors have to change their clothing on, uh, and put on something different to represent something new that they are about to do? Now, if you see a lawyer and a lawyer is going to present somebody in a courtroom they have to put on this wig and they are they are they are they are, they are the new garments and they put on a wig to signify who they are let me tell you something your garment gives you an identity your garment reveals your ranking in the society and your ranking in life let me tell besides the fact that your garment gives you an identity your garment physically and spiritually determines your ranking in life. Your ranking can be determined by your garment. My God, my God, my God, my God. The reason why some of you, you are at a certain level and you are never moving forward is because the garment you are clothed with is for that level. The reason why some people can never assess certain places is because of the way you are dressed. And I am going to show you from the word of God tonight for you to understand that even in scripture, there are certain places people were disallowed from entering because of the garment that they had on themselves. Now watch this. Watch this, watch this, both from the New Testament and even in the Old Testament. And you see, your clothing determines your status and your ranking. Your clothing, your garment determines your status and your ranking. Garment also give you protection and security. Here in the UK, one thing that everyone that lives in, uh, in Europe understands when this time in getting to Christmas is winter. If you don't dress well, you can get pneumonia and you can die. Whether you are white or black, when you are with the right garment, when you are with the right garment, your garment is able to give you protection. When you cover yourself well here in the UK in the winter, you are shielded and protected from the bad weather. Your garment, besides the fact that it shows your ranking in life, it also shows your identity in life. It also protects you and shields you from disaster. It shields you from attacks. It shields you from negativity. Let me say this to you. One of the reasons 
why some people their life keep remaining in one level is just because they are clothed with the wrong garments prophetically now spiritually hmm spiritually one of the things i have come to understand is that spiritually your garment determines the level you are in life spiritually your garment also determines what happens in your life right now let me tell you this if i am getting into if i if for god to move me from where i am to where he wants to take me the first thing god does spiritually is that he changes my garment let me tell you this you can never move from where you are now to where you are supposed to be if your garment does not change prophetically there must be a shift in the spirit for your garment to change have you wondered in the book of mark when jesus called blind bartimius the, the bible said for blind bartimius to receive his healing when jesus called him the bible said he cast away his garment that was the significance of the prophetic symbolism of the fact that the guy's life was about to change. Tonight, I make a prayer on this mountain and I decree and declare may someone that is watching me today, may your life begin to change because there is a new government that is coming upon you. There is someone that is watching me tonight. God is about to prophetically move you from your place of singlehood, from your place of disease and infirmity, from your place of struggle, from your place of stagnation, from your place of poverty, to the place where God has destined you to be. Let me tell you this. I, I, I am not missing words in this. You can never, and I tell you, you can never even get married. I am going to show you from scripture if you are not clothed spiritually with the garment for marriage. You can never get a new job if you are not clothed with the garment of favor. You can never ever be able to ascend to the level where you are supposed to be if you are not clothed with the right garment. Azuda Ate, Imantu Abranta, today by fire, I make a prophetic decree over everyone watching me today, wherever you are, may the garment that needs to come upon you be released by God on you. May angels activate a new garment over your life, over your family, over your children, in the name of Jesus, in the evil garment that the enemy has put on you, in the evil garment that has identified you with shame, in the evil garment that has characterized your life with sicknesses and diseases and premature death, in the evil garment that has characterized your life with stagnation and delay, aduzi atonebe atua, miantu azede atis, today we make a prayer upon this mountain of your of Yahweh may the garment be revoked 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 tonight is not just a normal teaching it's a prophetic gathering we are at Shiloh we are at the mountain of the Lord we are at Sinai we are about to encounter Yahweh today as you prophetically connect I see your garment change some of you listen to me if you wear white to a place everybody will know ah she's wearing white if you wear black to a wedding everybody will know ah she's wearing black if you wear a certain funny dress to a place everybody can identify you by what you dress or what you are dressing do you know why everybody sees that you are broke do you know why everybody says you your life is going nowhere because spiritually there is something about you that makes people be able to identify that this sister, this brother, this uncle, this mom, this lady is going nowhere. You see, there is a certain power that garments, I mean, exude and produce when a garment of shame is upon you.
you. Everywhere you go, you see shame. When a garment of poverty is upon you, it doesn't matter how hard you try, you are not able to break through. When the garment of bad marriage is in your family, I'm telling you, you will try so hard to break forth in marriage, but you don't. Let me tell you, you see your colleagues, they have gone ahead done well, and sometimes you ask, why am I not doing well? Your gar- Not unless your garment change, you cannot move. Not unless your garment is transformed, there is no way your life can move forward. But today, upon this mountain of God, I make prayer for you. Every evil garment, they place on you, they place on your mother, they place on your father, they place on your children, they place on your siblings. Aduba Asite, Tudia Adianta, I remove it now. I remove it now. I remove it now. I remove it now. By the power of God. Listen and listen good. There is a garment. Let me show. Let me show you a scripture. The prophecy concerning Jesus. What Jesus came to do. The mission statement of Jesus, as prophesied by Isaiah, and it will show you that Jesus did not just come to give salvation. He came to change garments. Get with me to scripture. I am going to give back everything I say today with scripture for you to understand that this thing about garment is more than we know. Go with me to the book of Isaiah chapter 61. Mazigado Adia. I need you to do me a favor. I need you to do me a favor. Share this broadcast right now. 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 I need you to do me a favor. I want you to share the broadcast now. To share the broadcast now. To share the broadcast now. To share. I need you to do me a favor. Isaiah. Go with me to the book of Isaiah, chapter 61, verses 1 down to 3. Isaiah chapter 61, Hadibi Abraso, God help us to know. Isaiah chapter 61, let me read for you the book of Isaiah 61. My God, let's go. The Bible says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He said, let me read. He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has sent me. This is the mission statement of Jesus. This is Isaiah prophesying about Jesus, that what Jesus was going to do. Jesus, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. The me there is capital. That means Jesus. Because he has anointed me to preach the good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of prison to those who are bound. Jesus came to set people who are bound free. Verse 3. Verse 2, he says, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the year of vengeance of our God. He says, hmm. Let me read from the Amplified. To grant those who are who mourn in Zion, to give them a haya bahaya bahaya. To grant unto those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. The Bible says Jesus came to give us the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. He says the garment of praise. One of the things Jesus came to do is to give us the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. If there is something called the garment of praise, that should tell you there is something called the garment of poverty. There is something called the garment of failure. There is something called the garment of sorrow. The Bible says Jesus came to give us the garment of praise. There is a garment that Jesus came to put on us. It is called the garment of praise for and to remove from us the spirit of heaviness. If there is the garment of praise, there is the garment of sorrow. If there is a garment of praise, there is a garment of prosperity. If there is a garment of praise, my dear, that goes on to tell me there is not just only one garment. There is the garment of favor. There is a garment of marriage. Today, upon this premise, I make a pronouncement. Wherever you are watching,
touch me from every evil garment of shame today we remove it every evil garment of pain today we remove it every evil garment of sorrow today we remove any evil garment that has characterized your life I stand as God's oracle and as God's servant for this end time and I decree and declare let it be removed let it be removed let it be removed let it be removed Lydia I pray for you every evil garment is removed Margaret Safari I make a prophetic pronouncement every garment of sickness in your family Margaret Safari today say yes the Lord it is being removed now it is being removed now it is being removed now tonight I on this mountain of the Lord I make a prophetic decree upon your household upon your job upon your career upon your business today every garment of death upon that business we remove it we remove it we remove we remove we remove in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God listen to me too. this week is a prophetic dangerous week you cannot afford to miss it Jesus said the Bible said Jesus came to give us the garment of praise for the spirit of happiness there is a garment of favor there is a garment of good marriage there is a garment of prosperity there is a garment of honor there is a garment of blessing that is about to come upon someone a garment of good marriage is about to be released a garment of prosperity is about to be released listen not until you are clothed with a garment of marriage no man will look in your direction even if they look your direction they will not marry you they will just possibly use you and abuse you but today on this mountain of God at this arena I make a prayer on your behalf that may heaven remove every evil garment and replace it with a new garment if you are on shout I receive shout I receive shout I receive in the name of Jesus now watch this Watch this, watch this, watch this. I am going to show you something that is going to blow your mind. In the book of Genesis, in the book of Genesis, the first thing, you know, so this thing about garments, I want you to listen well. And we are about to pray in the next few minutes. And don't joke with it. Check Genesis. When God created Adam and Eve, the Bible said God placed them in the Garden of Eden. And in the garden, they had everything. When the devil came to attack Adam and Eve in the garden, the first thing the devil made Adam and Eve realize, or the first thing that happened to Adam and Eve after they had been attacked and tricked by the devil was that they became naked. They be, before they were naked, but they were clothed with the presence of God. There was a spiritual covering that covered them. So every now and then God would descend into the garden and commune with Adam and Eve. Every now and then God will come and commune with Adam and Eve and Adam and everything will be fine. But after they had been attacked by the devil, the first thing the devil had was their garments. The devil stripped them off. The presence that covered them. The devil stripped Adam. So when God came into with, to Adam in Genesis chapter 3, verse, 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 um, verse 8, hear the word of the Lord. I am going to show you revelations that will blow your mind. Go to Genesis chapter 3, verse 8. Hear the word of the Lord. And they heard the voice of the Lord walking in the, in the garden of the day so the man and his wife hid and kept themselves hidden from the presence of God among trees of the garden but the Lord called Adam and said where are you and he 
he said, I heard your voice walking in the garden and I was afraid because I was what? Naked. Adam ran and said, I was afraid, sir, because I was naked. Every now and then God was coming to Adam and Adam was not naked because Adam was clothed. But after sin, after Adam committed an error, after Adam committed a blender, after Adam disobeyed God, Adam became naked. That means the covering. There was something spiritual that covered Adam, but the enemy succeeded in stripping it off. Let me tell you, if you don't know, ask yourself what was covering Adam. There is something spiritual. Your status in life, your ranking in life, your identity in life is always determined by a spiritual garment that is on you. You may, you may dress in Louis Vuitton, Prada, I mean, Angelo Galazzo, name all the designers you can think of. But let me tell you, young man, let me tell you, sir, it is not about that. It's about the spiritual garment that has clothed you. It is about the spiritual garment that you have on you. Adam was running away because the devil succeeded in changing their garment. He says, I ran away because I was naked. For God to to succeed and communing with Adam again in verse 21 the Bible said and the Lord and the Lord took tunics of skins for Adam for his wife the Lord killed an animal and covered Adam again with the skin of an animal let me tell you the reason why you cannot experience God there are certain things that has not happened to you like they are supposed to is because a certain wish a certain power, a certain force has clothed you with the wrong garment. Today in the name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above every other name, every evil garment that is on you tonight, I remove by fire. I remove by fire. I remove by fire. We remove the evil garment. 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 Hold your evil garment. I told you find an old garment is a prophetic symbolism i told you it doesn't make sense to you but just find one a dress you never wear again a top you never wear again a shirt you never wear again find something you will never wear again we are going to use it as a prophetic symbolism of our old garment find something and hold it you, this whole week you have it in your hand. By Sunday you dispose of it. And I'm telling you, Aziga Bahaya. Hey, 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 hey. By Friday, I beg your pardon. We will dispose of it by Friday. And heaven shall descend in your house. You shall have a change of garment. You shall have a change of garment. You shall have a change of garment. Today we make a prayer. Every evil garment that has clothed you. Today we remove it. Today we remove. Today we remove. Today we remove, today we remove by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. We remove every evil garment in the name of Jesus. Why is it that for the devil to attack Adam, eh, he had to attack his garment? The devil stripped Adam. What makes you think? Who told you that garments are not prophetic? The first place of call for Adam to lose his ranking in the garden was his garment. Adam lost his garment in the garden. Adam lost his garment. You shall not lose your garment of favor. Some of you, you used to accord a lot of favor. You used to accord a lot of honor. You used to accord a lot of dignity in society. People used to love you. People used to stand for you and support you. But somehow, it looks like you are losing influence. You are losing popularity. You are losing your honor. Today, I pray for you. No one shall steal your good garment. Nobody shall take your garment. No one shall take your garment. Nobody shall take your garment. I pray for you. Your garment of favor shall remain. Your garment of marriage shall remain. Your garment of good health shall remain. Your garment of preservation shall be with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Let me tell you, if you, are, if you have a job and your garment of favor is removed, you are fired. You will get fired like Adam. Adam was fired from the garden. Why? Because the devil removed his garments. God drove Adam away from the garden. 
When you are married and your garment of good marriage is removed, what happens to you is that you become single. But I pray for you, if you are clothed with a good garment, may no one remove, may no one remove, may no one remove, may no one remove your garment in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something, and then we are about to close. When Haman decided to attack the Jews, the Bible declares that he tricked the king into making a decree that all Jews in the kingdom of King Ahasuerus in the old Medo-Persian Empire were going to be killed. The Bible says when Mordecai heard the news, because Haman was angry with Mordecai and because and he extended it to the entire Jewish kingdom and Haman managed to convince the king to sign a decree that all Jews were going to be killed. The Bible says in Esther chapter 4 that when Mordecai heard the news, Mordecai put on sackcloth. Why was Mordecai putting on sackcloth? In those days, sackcloth was put when people were fasting, when people were sorrowful or something sad happened. So Mordecai put on sackcloth and ran to the palace to go and speak to Esther. But look at what happened. Esther chapter 4. Let me read to you. When Mordecai got to the palace, they disallowed Mordecai from entering the palace. Why? Because he was clothed with sackcloth. And according to the custom of the time, you cannot enter a palace with a sackcloth. What am I trying to say? The point I'm trying to say is, in Esther chapter 4, Mordecai was prevented from entering a palace because he was clothed with a sackcloth. Can I say? Say, maybe because you are clothed with the wrong garment, that is why you are not assessing certain dimensions of power. Because you are clothed with the wrong garment, that is why you are not breaking through like you are supposed to. Maybe per adventure, because you are clothed with the garment of bad marriage, you cannot enter the place of marriage. Maybe the reason why you are at this level is because there is a wrong garment that has clothed you let me tell you before I could rise in life spiritually God told me son your garment has changed my friend you need a shift and a taint of garment for you to enter your next level in ministry in God in power and in favor your garment has to change today we make a prayer we hold on to the homes of the altar and we decree may your garment change may your garment change any evil garment that is resisting your next level any evil garment that is resisting your next level any evil garment resisting you from breaking through resisting you from rising resisting you from moving to your next level masika bahatosa via toto azibaya Imante asata, rapapadwa kate, by the power of God. Every evil comment, today we remove, today we remove, today we remove. So I see people standing by doors that they have not entered. They have tried to knock some international doors for long, but they are not open. But the Spirit of the Lord is telling me, Adasi Abaha, there is a man of God even in them. You are standing by an international national door, but it's refusing to open. But on this mountain I make a prophetic decree. Enter that door. 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 I see people standing by the door of marriage. They are not entering because of their clothing, because of their garment. I declare, enter your door of marriage. Enter your door of favor. Enter your door of opportunities. Enter that door. For there is a new garment that is coming upon you. Receive a new garment. We claim it by fire. Matobo attire. The garment to make you qualify for properties. The garment to make you qualify for wealth. The garment to make you qualify for good husband. The garment to make you qualify for a good wife. Today we pray may it be released. May it be released. May it be released. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Mazagada brahati. Gretosi Apata Imantabaya. You see, let me say this 
let me put this disclaimer. Anytime when Adam disobeyed his father, his garment and his covering was removed. Anytime you disobey a father in the law, your garment, you become naked, you become exposed to attacks. When Adam disobeyed the instruction from the father, his father, he became exposed. I pray for you. May you not become exposed this week. 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 May you not become exposed because of disobedience. In the name of Jesus. Pados Kabahaya. Now let me go and read. Um, as, now, for Mordecai to enter into the palace, Esther had to come bring a new garment. Let me read. Let me read Esther chapter 4. Let me go to... Uh, him. Esther chapter 4. Let me read to you. Esther chapter 4. Now watch this. Esther chapter 4. Reading from verse 14. For if as Mordecai told Esther, if you remain silent at this time, liberation and rescue may come. Let me go to verse 11. The king's servants and the provinces. He says, if you remain silent at this hour, let me continue, liberation and rescue may arise for the Jew from another place. But you and your father's house will perish. And you will know whether you have attained royalty for such a time like this. Then Esther told them to reply, Mordecai, go and gather all the Jews. Go and go in Susha and observe a fast. Do not eat or drink for three days, and I and my maidens will do the same. And I will go see the king, which is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. Listen, when Esther was ready to go see the king, she did not just go ordinary like she goes all the time. Esther clothed herself in a garment that was even though she had fasted, even though she had waited on God, she still made sure she clothed herself well in a garment that was ready and worthy of honor. Let me tell you something. If if you do not clothe yourself well, if you do not pray for the right garment to come upon you, I'm telling you, you can be praying some prayers and you don't see things happening and you are wondering why are things not happening. Let me give you this. Before even King Ahasuerus became, I mean, before Esther became a queen, the Bible says the king called for all the virgins in the kingdom in the Medo-Persian Empire, all virgins, and told them that they should go through three months of beauty therapy, medicure, pedicure, oint ointments, and oils were used on the virgins before they assess the king. Now, catch this revelation, especially those of you believing God for marriage. Listen, before they could assess the king, all the virgins went through the same treatment. But one thing they didn't know was that even though physically they were clothed well, with the right makeup, with the right ointment, they had the garment of rejection on them. Any one of them that went to the king, the king rejected them. Any one of them that went to the king, the king rejected them until it got to Esther's turn. But the Bible said with Esther, and Esther found favor. And Esther found favor. And Esther found favor. And Esther found favor. That was a typology of the garment of favor that was released upon Esther. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. And Esther found favor. Esther chapter 2. 
verse 17. Watch this. When you go to verse 15, Esther found favor before the Enoch, and number two, Esther found favor before the king. Esther chapter 2, verse 15. All the ladies went. They were all dressed with the same makeup, same things, but all of them had a garment of rejection. Esther had a garment of favor. Let me see this. Esther chapter 2, verse 15. Now, for Esther, the daughter of Abihail, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her in as his own daughter, when they re when when her turn came in to go into the king, she requested for nothing except her guy, the king's Enoch, who was in charge of the women, advice. And Esther found favor in the sight of all who saw her. Before even Esther entered the king's palace to be chosen as a wife, she had found favor. That is the garment of favor. The Bible says in Isaiah 61, there is the garment of soul. There is a garment of heaviness. There is something Thing called the garment of favor before Esther went in, the garment of favor came upon her. Before you went into the interview, the garment of favor will go ahead of you. You will be clothed with the garment of favor. Sometimes you need to pray prophetic prayers. Don't pray like as if you go to Catholic church. Pray prophetically. Father, release my garment of favor. Father, release my garment of favor. Father, release. Be a prophet of your own life. Declare, Father, activate my garment of favor. I activate my garment of good marriage. Begin to declare. And Esther found favor before all who saw her. Next verse 17. And verse 17 here. Now the king loved Esther more than all the women. And she found favor and kindness with him. Before Esther went into the king, she found favor before the people. Number two, she found favor before the king again. Why? Because the garment of, of, of favor was speaking. The garment of favor was speaking. To Today I make a prayer. Today I make a prayer. Every garment of favor you need for you to get a job, for you to get finance, to finance your project, for you to release, for, for that money to be released. We command the prayer for a release of that garment. We command the prayer for a release of that garment. We command the prayer for a release of that garment. The garment of favor is coming upon people. 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 Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. The garment of honor. The garment of favor. The garment of prosperity. The garment of increase. The garment of fruitfulness is coming upon you now. Today I make a prayer. May you receive the garment of favor. As Esther received favor before the Enos and received favor before the king. Wherever you go to do business, wherever you enter to do ministry, you will find favor before people. 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 Receive it in the name of Jesus. How many of you were on this platform yesterday? Yesterday was when I was preaching about faith in the midst of the storms. How many of you were online when I prophesied to a lady in Eastern Europe? And I said, as, as I was preaching, the Spirit of God came upon me. And I made a prophetic decree. And God spoke to me and said, there is a lady in Eastern Europe. For years, her husband has not been performing. Her husband's manhood has gone to zero. His horsepower has run to zero. And so I prophesied and said, God is healing the husband. And the husband's horsepower is going to be, be revived again. And things were going to happen. Listen to me. Around 2 a.m. today, I'm just there preparing for morning glory. All of a sudden, I see a text message, boom, on my phone, on my WhatsApp. He said, Papa. I believe, let me read the text message. Where is it? Where is it? Let me read. Let me read it. I think I shared it on the platforms. I took a screenshot and shared it on the platform. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where is it? Where is this? Let me read it. Let me read it. He says, he says, Papa, I started crying when you prophesied about my husband not being able to perform in bed. He says, she started crying about when you prophesied about my husband not being able to perform in bed. She has put crying emoji. I, I have cried and prayed and fasted. I have be, and I believe it is done. 
just now I told him my prophet has prayed and so he is healed. So when I was prophesying, I told and I declared, the lady said, she called the husband and said, my prophet has spoken that there is a woman in, in Europe whose husband's manhood is not functioning. And says, immediately I called my husband and said, because my prophet has said it, it is done. Watch this. Just now I told him my prophet has prayed and so he's healed. We tried this and it worked. My God. He says someone whose thing has not been functioning. How many of you were online when I when, when I made that prophecy? If you were on, just help us. You see, this is a serious prophecy. Uh, otherwise, I had told I had told her to come online and confirm, but but obviously you should understand nobody wants to uh, people to know that their husband's thing is not working. You understand? So so he says we tried it and it worked. That was not it. He says, my prophet, it worked. He performed in a way he has never done since I met him. Papa, your God is a God of wonders. You are my forensic prophet. I thank God for you. Listen to me. I was online. Somebody said she was online. Listen to me. The woman says the husband thing has immediately, it was not after one day, it was not after 24 hours. Listen, if you take the declarations we make on this platform, how many people have not received healings? People about leukemia, people about cancer, people about them, I mean, visa, I mean, people receiving tender wealth. There is a lady that I prophesied about, I think sometime last month, she received a tender wealth, 100 million, is it 10 million dollars? Sorry, 10 million dollars from Ghana. She received the tender wealth, ten million dollars from Ghana. The husband, a parent, I beg your pardon, she is the husband. She said, "Papa, when you spoke a word about my husband, within a matter of two weeks, the man received the tender, the tender of about." Ten million dollars the man received. Let me tell you, there is power on this mountain. That if you shall connect this week, may you receive a testimony. 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 There's another testimony here. Say, Mark says, greetings, Papa. A couple of months back, you prayed and declared that none of Grace our members will lose their jobs and none of your sons and doctors will be affected with COVID-19. You release an anointing for preservation. Papa, half of the employees in our organization have been laid off since the past one month. Miraculously, my job has been preserved. Daddy, I know it's because I have a prophet that is speaking over my life. Mark, this one you can confirm for me if you are online. Mark says, see, not because his prophet is speaking, his job was secured. The grace of God upon your life is flowing into my life, and I choose to remain connected to this grace. It's up to you. Whether you remain connected, Mark says, I choose to remain connected to this grace. You are a voice, and that is why the enemy cannot touch my household. Because I speak over your life, the enemy cannot touch your household. The enemy cannot touch your children. The enemy cannot touch your job. Receive favor for a new beginning. Favor for a new beginning. Favor for a new beginning. Testimonies. People's jobs are secured. Let me read the last testimony and then we go. Here are my testimonies. Three testimonies in one. My God. In one of the annual conferences in 2017, that is about three years ago, I had an acute ear problem that kept reoccurring and I had, I had spent a lot of money on medication. During the conference, you touched my ear and I was completely healed. The pain went completely. Imagine. Somebody says she had acute ear problem and at the conference I touched her ears and immediately hey, some of these testimonies long about in 2018 also. Listen to this. When you were at Daystar University how many of you remember us at Daystar University in 2018 when I was ministering then? You knelt on the altar and you asked us to submit prayer requests my prayer request was to get a job. Believe me, I got a job around that time without going for interview. May God release favor over someone. May God release favor over someone. May you get a job without an interview. The interview you have done, you will image the best. You will image the best. You will image the best.
Yes, wherever you are looking for tender from, for job, for money, I pray on this altar. I need for you and I make a prayer on your behalf. May my God descend on your behalf and favor you. Receive favor for that job. Receive favor for that job. In the name of Jesus Christ, Shadabahaya. Finally, I paid my tithes to dome ministries and prayed that my seed would speak on my behalf for open doors. God did it the same day. The same day she started paying her tithe to dome ministries. She prayed for any, on behalf of open doors. The same day she started I mean, paying her tithe, a door was open for her. My God. God did it the same day. He gave me double the tithe I paid. It was a miracle. May God continue to bless you, my spiritual karma. Let me say this. As you connect to the God of this mountain, may you testify. May your garment of shame, garment of poverty, garment of bad marriage, garment of sicknesses and diseases be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed. In the name of Jesus, hold your garment it now let me put on hold your coming now let, let me let me let me get myself ready hold your coming now Hold it, hold it, hold your garment. I said find a symbolic garment. Something you will never wear again. Something you will never wear again. Something that you will never wear. Something that you never wear. And hold it, we are about to pray. I'm done with the preaching. We are about to pray. From tomorrow I will be ministering prophetically, even today also, in the prophetic. This whole week is prayer, word, and prophecy. As people are testifying, Masagra dosi abata, vreko zuzuzu abata, Hey, 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 are you ready? Say by fire, by fire. Say by fire, by fire. In the name of Jesus, every evil garment that has clothed my life by the power of God, I decree and declare, let it be removed. Let it remove. 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 Say every evil garment. Say it again. Every evil garment. The garment of shame. The garment of rejection. The garment of poverty. The garment of bad marriage. Release against my life. Today by power. We remove it now. We remove it now. We remove it now. We remove it now. Mazigaba. Rabba Kodobo Shete. Pia Basuka Brantabaya. Come on, begin to mention your evil garment and begin to pray with it. Declare the garment is removed. The garment is removed. The garment is removed. Matu Apayua. Mi Anta Tabaha. Rabba Kodobo Shete. Mi Anta Tandabaya. Rabba Bako Shata. Mi Ante Debrianta. Matuba Baba, Matuba Baba, Matuba Baba, Rabada Branta Bante Bidibicapa, Rabanda Bacoshetea, Ipandoski Abata, Randa Bacoshabaya, Iprantosi Apaya, Ibante Bicapa, Rababa Candabaya, Abrantosi Aba, Matoro Bocapa, every evocament of shame, every evocament of poverty, every evocament. Today we remove. Today we remove. Today we remove. By the power of God. By the power of God. By the power of God. Matiaba. 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 A parwa cabrantapa. Any evil garment released on our lives. By the power of God. We remove it now. We remove it now. We remove it now. Matiaba tua. Matiaba tua. Madia Batua, Cadere de Boshabata, Macondo Aziaba, Payoski Apapa, Itaraba Catoya, Ivan Tetea, Brente Brianta, Manti Apapaya, Mi Antataya, Igran Totosi, Ibadaba, Rapadua Capa, Mi Antoni Apapaya, Rebebe Cabrante, Imantoro de Bocapa, Mantoni Biapa, Mantoni Biapa, Manto Abazu. Rebe atuaba, rapa di apa, mi anto de be atea, di vreke atosa, manto apayae, di vrade apaya, di kere de beta, man 
mantori bikapa mantori bikapa apara baba dua kabra shanta e mante de be anta baya raba baba dua kabra te e padua kabra anta mantoro boka ba rebe be be badi bi anta baya rebe be be di bi anta baya rebe be di bi anta baya rebe be be di bi anta baya mantoro boka pranto e e paya baba baswata e paya baba swata to david we make a prayer Every evil garment clothed in clothing us today. We remove it now. 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 Ika pado boshete. Ika pado boshete. Ika pado boshete. Ika pado boshete. A pado akabrante. Rebe be 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 pa. Rebe be 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 pa. Rebe be 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 pa. Mi anta da da me antara da bakodua me antara da bakodua me antara da bakodua me antara da bakodua somebody lift up your voice tonight is a night of power tonight is a night of glory tonight is a prophetic night let the evil come and be removed 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 matuba haziaba mi antoro bokapaya e farara da basata pranto si a papaya e kanda basuata ei a babasua ei a babasua paiolua 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 e kabaya e kabaya e kabaya e kabaya e kabaya e kabaya raba batua raba batua raba batua raba batua by fire in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. Tonight is a dangerous night. Any evil garment of rejection, any evil, evil garment of shame, any evil garment of poverty, say be removed. Say I remove. Shout, say the garment of poverty. Shout, I remove. Whatever I declare, you declare, I remove. Are you ready? When I call the methane, you shout, I remove. The garment of poverty, I remove. The garment of shame, I remove. The garment of rejection, I remove. The garment of depression, I remove. The garment of disappointment, I remove. The garment of sorrow, I remove. The garment of struggle, I remove. The garment of bad marriage, I remove. The garment of struggle, I remove. The garment of depression, I remove every garment of sicknesses. I remove in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. The sad thing is that sometimes eh, I remember when I was young, and 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 and, and uh, I was in church as a young man and trying to. We used to have a morning, uh, an early morning Monday morning glory, like around five a.m. for for people to come and pray for the week. When I was young. And there is a revelation I captured, and that changed my life. At the prayer meeting, at the prayer meeting, the rich men and the rich women in the church who have got cars will come and park their car and be praying seriously. The poor masses, the rest of the poor masses were not in the service. Majority of the poor masses were not in there. I looked at that thing, and I, it changed my mindset. Now you know what? These people have got the means. They are driving serious cars. They are parking their cars here and praying. The poor masses are snoring in their homes. I said, it changed my prayer life. It changed my mindset. The people who are supposed to be praying, some, they, as we are pre seriously praying here, they are not on home. They are watching Nollywood, watching TV, which cannot change their life. You understand? They are watching something else which can never change their lives. But listen to me. If you are on this platform this week and you have connected this week, I make a prayer for you. Every evil garment of disappointment, every evil garment of rejection, every evil garment of promise and fail, failure, not getting what you deserve, today we remove it. Any evil garment that has clothed you, today we remove we are taking the next prayer point. We are taking the next prayer. You are praying in the name of Jesus. You see, this week the prayer is very, very important to me. You are praying in the name of Jesus. If there is anybody that is attempting to put an evil garment on you, this is 
when you the first time I saw this scripture in Isaiah chapter 10 let me show you it will blow your mind Isaiah chapter 10 verses 27 he says by the reason of the anointing his yoke shall be removed he didn't say your yoke some of you, you are in a certain situation but because somebody put it there because by the reason he said his yoke shall be removed from your shoulders because of the anointing his yoke his yoke say in the name of Jesus it shall be so on that day that the Assyrian will be removed the, the burden of the Assyrian there is an Assyrian amplified me makes it better uh, Isaiah chapter 27 verses um, Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 so it will be so on that day on this day today that the burden that the burden of the Assyrian will be removed from your shoulders and his yoke from your neck there is an Assyrian that has put a burden on your life there is a certain woman many many years ago that has put a burden on your life there is a certain uncle many many years ago that has put a burden on your life there is a certain power that has put a yoke on you every Assyrian yoke and a curse and a stronghold release it to your life any satanic yoke today by fire we command let it break today by fire we command let it break today by fire we declare let it break lift up your voice now come on pray lift up your voice now Padua Cabrantaba, he paraba Padua Capa, he mantada da da papaya, he brantoria papa, Macorobopa, a total bopa, a total bopa, a total bopa, a total bopa, every Assyrian yoke. Today we make a prayer, Father, we break it, and the yoke limited our lives, and the Assyrian yoke, and the satanic altar, satanic garment, hey, Ababadua Catea, hey, Ababadua. The satanic yoke of barrenness, I break it from your life. The garment of barrenness, I break it from your life. The garment of stagnation, I break it from your life. Madia Baba, Madia Baba, Madia Baba, Rapa Pada Bapadua Kapa, Rapa Pada Bapadua Kapa, Rapa Pada Bapadua Kapa, Imantono Shono Saya Paiwa Katea, every Assyrian yoke, every Assyrian. Syrian pattern, in the pattern from the pit of hell, against our lives. Tonight we make a prayer. Tonight we engage. Madaba aduasi, grede debe aduapa, rampaya azuapa, raba bako shata, iya ya ya ya, iya brata, makolo botea, ante debea, mi anta tanda bakatua, rapa pa 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 pa, rapa pa 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 pa, rapa pa 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 pa, rapa pa pa pa. Every Assyrian yoke, we break it down. Now we are taking the next prayer. We are taking the next prayer. You are declaring now that may your garment may your garment of favor come upon you you are praying for a new garment any garment that you desire I may need a garment of expansion the garment that will make me expand and increase and grow in power and grace somebody may need a garment of for a new job any garment you need by fire, every garment of favor, somebody shout I receive now, every garment of fruitfulness, shout I wear it now, every garment of prosperity, I wear it now, now, now put your ga your evil garment on the side, put your evil garment on the side, put your evil garment, I told you come online with an evil garment, a wrong garment, that is your old clothes, put it on the side, because we are about to take on a new garment, 
Now we are going to spiritually receive a new garment. Are you here? In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we, we receive the garment of favor. Every garment of favor I receive. Every garment of good marriage I receive. Garment of healing and deliverance I receive. Garment of great business opportunities I receive. Open doors I receive. Deliverance I receive. Healing I receive. I receive the garment of honor. The garment of honor. The garment of wealth. The garment of financial breakthrough. I receive my garment now. Maziga Batua. Somebody pray for your garment of good marriage. Pray for your garment of good marriage. Come on, pray now. Maziga Dia. Matodo Bokapa. Hadede Bekabrantosua. Imatodo Bokapatua. Rebebebe Kapa. Rebebebe Kapa. Rebebebe Kapa. Rebebebe Kapa. Rebebebe Kapa. Apada Bapadua Kabrantaba. Epedebe Kapanda Baswata. Ia Panda Bapadua Kape. Imanterebe Kapa. Atoda Baswatea. Lift up your voice and come on pray. Engage in prayer now. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. We command the garment of favor to come upon our lives. The garment of English, let it come now. The garment of prosperity, we receive it now. The garment of abundance, we receive it now. The garment of honor, we receive it now. Masika Baba, Robo Bokata, Mi Antabaya, Rapa Pada, Rapa Pada, Rapa Pada, Rapa Pada, Ika Padua Kate, Rebebe Cabranta, Ipada Bako Shata, Imante de Beha, Ibranto Ziaba, Makodo Bodo Broshi, Yababasata, Mi Antababa, Rabababa, Makodo Bosheta, lift up your voice, come on, pray, lift up your voice, declare the garment of favor is coming upon you, the garment of honor is coming upon you, the garment of glory is coming upon you, the garment of prosperity is coming upon you, lift up your voice now, Maziga Bradosa, Payozo Zozo Azia, Ibadidibi Abrantos, Igranto Se Atea, Matodo do Boca Branta, Rebebebebe Capa, Apada Bapada Bapadua Cabranta Baya, Imanta da Bapada Bapa, Apada Bapada Bapa, Imanta Bapada Ba, Imanta da Bapada Ba, Rabba Bapada Ba, Hikatodo Bapada Ba, Rabba Bapada Ba, Atodo Boshea, Mi Anta Teria, Mi Anta Poya, Hikapadua Ka, Eterebeha, Mantoni Mikapa, in the name of Jesus. And we are going to declare today that before this 2020 expires, may God surprise you. You are declaring that any principality in the atmosphere that is attacking your business, attacking your life, fighting your destiny, you declare, let it cast fire. You declare, let it cast fire. Lift up your voice now. Men begin to pray. Lift up your voice. Any principality that is holding in your garment in the atmosphere. Me anta bazukaba. Eya azukabaya. Rapa pada bakolo bosheti. Imanta baba baba siyataya. Rapa da brashanda bakoda ba. Ipada baba dua kabranta ba. Rapa pede beduanta ba. Rapa pede beduanta ba. Rapa pede beduanta ba. Rapa pede beduanta ba. Father, we make a prayer. In the territorial power, territorial demon, in the atmosphere, hindering our next level, holding our evil. The, our garment of favor and blessing. Today we break it. Today we break. We break every hold and we decree and declare. We enter our season of honor. We enter our season of breakthrough. We enter our season of favor. We enter our season of blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Before 2020 expire, may you go. May you testify. 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 May you testify in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Maza grado zozo zubraya, grado zozo zubrazaya, grado do zobro zodeneme. Mi ababazuga brazegede. Hey, my fire, my tender. 
we make a prayer that may heaven remember us 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 in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God